um, yeah, big thanks, big well done, first of all, to um, Scott and um, big well done to um, George and Michael. Uh, both did very very well to get to the final. Um, and a big thank you to, to Wabble and the boy Nick for providing some excellent commentary. I thought that was quite fun. Uh, obviously a little bit different. We're trying to keep it fresh on this on this Twitch channel. But we mix it up a little bit. Uh, if you enjoyed more of that, uh, we'll have it again in three months' time, ish, um, uh, where we'll be playing uh, another heads up tournament. Um, and um, congratulations very much to George. He's going to earn himself a lovely uh, halftime Twitch video. As I might go for a little raise here just to sort of deny some equity. Um, he's going to go for a lovely uh, halftime Twitch video next week. And also we'll be earning a mug. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we go for a raise on this board. Uh, by the way, everyone uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. And if the, if the uh, music's not too loud and the commentary, whatever. Uh, hopefully I've got everything mm, we're gonna check this I'm not happy with that six very much or that eight both of those look pretty disastrous interesting spot whether we want to try and now for example actually bluff off a higher five so he could have for example some hands like king five here that we could try and block. thumb song is now following thank you very much for the follow we're gonna check and just see what he has a three that makes sense and we're pretty happy to see that um, and we managed to get some value from the flop raise. Uh, we'll start with a flat here. Certainly options to three bet, but given he's just lost a hand, um, uh, we'll start with a flat. And also the plan is to try, just try and flop uh, trips, basically. Um, and yeah. Whether to see bet or check raise, I think we'll check raise again. So we check raise once before, pretty light if you like against him. And so we can try it again and maybe he gets a bit frustrated. He certainly is capable of shoving like nines plus here. Um, so we'll go for a small bet. We don't need to go too big. We want him to like co continue with worse, obviously. Um, and it gives him the most opportunity and he ends up folding and okay. We could flat there, but I think with the big blind is well in the hand. I'm just preferring to go for a check raise there. Yeah, um, a mug should be coming George's way. Anyone know what shipping costs to Greece are? That's that's going to be the question. Thank you, Nick, by, for the good luck. And thank you again for the country. Wasn't it great? It was good, wasn't it? I thought so, anyway. Need to update the halftime video. So you got two halftime videos. you got the old one from... From... When was it? What are we going to do here? Mm, I'll go two and a half. You got the old one from last week just repeated, unfortunately. I wasn't. I, w I thought that was the new one. But the good news is, there's a new halftime video coming. Although it's now a third, if that makes sense. I might just block here. So the reason I'm blocking here is just to make basically air fold. Uh, he's obviously not folding equity, but the reason I don't go bigger is because his equity is all calling and we're always going to under realize equity with this hand. We're going to check. Maybe he checks back. We're just happy check folding on this flop, though. On this board, and then run out. If I stole Mr. XP at for the go go go. We've rivered two pair. He's checked the he's checked back the turn. So he can have some bluffs here. He could have an eight nine or something. I expect him not to go too much. Uh so I expect him back in all his jack eggs. I'm merely really targeting a seven or something. <laughs> uh, as Frem Parik is now following. And thank you very much. For the follow, I guess we just jam this. About 10 bigs effective. What's 11? Um, yeah, the last hand he ended up calling with. He folded. Okay. So he could have maybe checked there uh, on the river to maybe just bluff. As uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ryan, City Roller Chucker, just sent the subscription over. Beautiful. Thank you so much, sir. We're going to call this hand. I really appreciate that, Ryan. Thank you, by the way. Um, uh, you're going to make it into the next subscriber. Uh, video edition as we bink a flush well done us much appreciated really appreciate that thank you look at all these stars everyone's got now fish trip tomo that's uh that's the one we'll go for a bet here still trying to get slightly organized but yeah Complete, complete tech head. Complete tech head! I understand that reference. 
Fish trip Tomo. Nice. We're gonna jam. For some reason, everybody's uh, messages are coming up very dark blue on stream. So I don't know if that's the same for everyone else, but like, struggling to read that. So I'm trying to read it through the, through the, um, what do you call it? Browser. Okay, we double him, which is absolutely fine. No problems there. Ten five suit. We're gonna start with a limp. And definitely potential to do lots of different things here. I might start with a check though. Um, and just go for a delay in barrel on this turn. So here yeah, we're pretty happy to go for a delay in barrel. We can certainly rep uh, Jack X and Queen X and put him in a tough spot with any 4X or 2X, which you certainly have in a probably cool one. He check raises, which is absolutely fine. No problems folding now. Certainly good to be aware that he's got a check raise up. Probably puts him more on the, let's say, reg end of the spectrum. Because we don't have too much information about him, other than he called with the ace-3 versus my check raise. Um, that's the only showdown we saw, uh, I believe. I mean, he... Yeah, we have no, uh, no other showdown. So we don't know too much about how he plays. Yeah, could have been aboard that jack-2-2 uh, to potentially donk on. Um, but we chose just to check and check fold. And we raise the queen on off. Looks a pretty good board of C bet. We'll be running this fairly, uh, fairly wide. I am running like George, exactly. Should we go for an ISO? Why not? Ace four, 14 bigs, jam, limp. I think we're just gonna jam this. Mike jammed it and ran into jacks. We jam it and we get a fold. Running better than Michael currently. Shout out to Michael. Second place isn't bad. We've got some more time leaderboards. Uh, we need to update. And you'll be high up there, Mike, because you got points in the first one. Yeah, I think with this combo, we're just going to end up checking and just folding if he bets turn. We also know he's capable of raising uh, turns as well. He goes for a day of one, and like, we certainly would have some, I guess, bluffs here, but yeah. All good. Thank you very much, Shorts Guy. Sending a tiger emoji, or a fox, I'm not sure. It's not an Eichhörnchen. That's what it's not. Or is it an Eichhörnchen? We don't know. But, but thank you. Hope, uh, hopes, hope London is good. Just in general, guys. Just hope London is good. So, uh, we go for a stab with Jack 4 on a 735 board. We get a call. I'm happy to actually barrel here because I think he will call with lots of overs. Um, he also has some 3x as well. We know he's capable of check raising, so I just imagine he'll just check raise all his 3x. He has got some 5x as well, though, uh, so this is a problem. He now comes up donkey pot, and yeah, we will be folding this hand. Not looking to hear a call with Jack High. And that's okay. I think he could have worked on uh, some rivers. Uh, likely he had a 5x there. So yeah. Happy with that. We're going to iso jam the ace 9 off. Start with an iso jam. Jonas. That's what I'm starting with. Have I already said that? I'm so sorry. We're going to have a drinking game. Every time I say starting with a check. Starting with a fold. That's what I'm doing now. Yes, let's go for the one third ISO. Seems to work okay. So we limp jack for suited. Could also raise this bow far fine. I think I will check back on this two two six three board. He hasn't. So from a sort of game flow perspective, I would imagine he might be a little bit frustrated. We took a big ISO, he's lost a few pots in a row. Um, and he certainly could be frustrated. We also know he's capable of like check raising hands on the turn. So I may actually go for a double check here and check again. And I could certainly represent a Queen King Ace. Jack's obviously great. Five's obviously great. Five is great. Uh, he goes for another check. We're just gonna min bet, basically. Um, and make sure things are okay. <laughs> Can someone check on Mikey? <laughs> is Michael okay? That's the question. Give the man a, 
Carlsberg, is that what I want to give him? We'll be getting Ink and Queen, but he folds. All good. We'll be getting Ace 2. All good. He calls with Ace 8. Can we hit back running spades? There's one. No. A um, little bit of extra tension this evening. Um, because uh, the extra tension is will we go broke? Uh, slightly running low on bank uh, bankroll. So wouldn't mind winning this uh, $500 uh, game if possible. Uh, otherwise we may have another session which gets curtailed. <laughs> so uh, we may play a few more hundreds this session than normal. Uh, and just make sure we jump to the 500 later. He calls a race queen. Very reasonable. We flop out. That's not one of them. That is one of them. Good news. Um, Ryan says, our latest subscriber, would you see bet queen nine with no flush draw blockers on backdoor uh, or... Uh, hang on. i am got to read that again. Would you always see bet queen nine with no flush draw blockers or backdoor blockers on king jack four too suited? King 10 for two suited. I'm calling here. Um, slightly confused, Ryan. Um, it, like, from a theoretical perspective, it's obviously. Uh, thank you, Palmer Byrne, for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, from a the theoretical perspective, of course, it also depends in, in limp pots and, and race pots. But Queen Eye, I know in Queen Eye, in, in limp pots on King Eye boards, are often the hand that gets overseed by a lot of opponents. Um, but it's actually okay to obviously bet them if your opponent's under check raising. Good news, guys. We won it. We have more money. Let's play again. Run up that bankroll. We are experiencing technical problems, says Party Poker. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, 